Oldendorf Carriers Trinidad and Tobago Limited operates four floating cranes for bulk cargo transfer in the Gulf of Paria, Trinidad. Coal from North America, iron ore and bauxite from South America, loaded at shallow draft ports, is transferred into larger vessels offshore Trinidad. Long voyages to the Middle East and Asia are more cost-efficient and environmentally friendly when performed in larger vessels. Oldendorf is able to offer customers with bulk cargo, loaded at restricted draft ports, a very competitive complete ocean transportation package deal, including shuttle freight, transshipment and cape size freight. We are running a transshipment operation. Different kinds of by commodities, mainly discharging smaller ships into bigger size ships. We started operating here in 2012. Operation was set up very quickly, very short time frame, but very successfully. We are now after three years, we transshipped over 12 million tons and we are still expanding. We started with two cranes, we are now at four cranes. Don't know, maybe we have six cranes next year. So what we are doing, we are increasing the efficiency of the freight from South America to China. In Trinidad, Oldendorf offers a logistic solution to um, transfer dry bulk material from smaller vessels into larger vessels. It's a quite interesting and unique operation whereby the smaller ships shuttle from mines in the South American region that are draft restricted to the calm waters in the Gulf of Paria in uh, Trinidad, where by the help of floating cranes the material is transferred into larger ocean-going vessels and then transferred from Trinidad to the Far East. The equipment that Oldenov uses and operates in Trinidad are four floating cranes that are paired up, two tugs to help during birthing and unbirthing operation, and um, crew boats to carry the personnel from and to the operation. We currently transship um, 600 to 800,000 tons of um, iron ore and coal um, per month. The Trinidad operation runs 24-7, day and night, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, the personnel works in three shifts of 12 hours each. The biggest challenges that we faced when we initially set up the operation was that the customer that we started the whole operation up with had a very, very short timeline leading up to the startup of the operation. So all the pontoons and cranes had to be built and set up uh, within only a few months time. The same had to be done in regards to the permits that we had to get the environmental permits before we could start up in the Gulf. The current challenges that we face in the day-to-day -day operation is that the notice time from when the shuttle ships leave the low port until the, they reach our operation in Trinidad is uh, quite short. So we have to be flexible and in terms of maintenance and, and crew changes and, and how we employ our personnel. And we have to react quickly to changes that may happen at the low port if there's delays or if a ship gets loaded quicker than we initially expected. Our clients are very satisfied that we can offer all year round reliable twin shipment service. Oldendorf is discharging smaller sized ships because the coastline of South America is very shallow. Most of the cargo is going to China and it's much more efficient to use bigger size ships. We are running a very interesting operation here. We have a very enthusiastic team. We are growing and we have lots of daily challenges and that's why I really like the job here in Trinidad. Commenced transshipment in 2012, operating four floating cranes and two tugs. Permitted to transfer iron ore, coal and bauxite. Up to 40 million tonnes per year can be transshipped. About 200 dedicated Oldendorf employees in Trinidad. Mm -hmm.